Them damn draws. Yeah, I just say. <laughs> oh my god. Tired of waiting to see the next episode reaction? Why not join the Patreon? You can gain access to reactions that have been uploaded weeks in advance before they land on YouTube. Most of all, you can watch the full length versions without the annoying copyright filter and subpar audio for just $5 a month. If you want to take your loyalty even further, you can watch our non animated related reactions as well as submit requests for just $10 a month. So stay ahead of the curve and help us sustain the brand. Thank, Thank you. you. Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely wife Jenna Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't never seen, and today we are reacting to some more Musuku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation. Last time we left off with an epic family reunion, pretty much on a sad decline because unbeknownst to Rudis, he wasn't the only one who got pulled up into that damn mono tornado. You know, a lot has happened since then. You know, the whole village pretty much was just in shambles on some fucking Wizard of Oz Wilson shit. wiped out and half the damn family is disappeared. Right. And, you know, Rudy and his dad end up meeting up. Right. And right. goddamn, uh, Paul, instead of just being happy to see his son alive, he was all complaining. Don't mind me, y'all. Pat my damn head. Pat it, girl. Pat your weed. Itching. Do it. Yeah, Paul was just all out of it, man. Which is kind of understandable because he was drinking. Zenith and the other daughter and the maid, you know, they don't know where they yet. Yeah, they disappear over there. And it doesn't help that they're in this foreign world or demon realm where. A lot of people just get done over. You know, they either get sold on the black market for sex or whatever. Yeah, and they. You know, it's a lot was, of scumbags. Yeah, Rudy thought somebody was being kidnapped, and it was actually. It Paul's was Paul group them trying to them. save the kid. Right. And it happened to be the kid that used to bully. Was this a kid that used to bully Rudy or bully Sylvie? Sylvie. I think the one that bullied Sylvie, yeah, he had hit him upside the head with a water ball on some yeah, Mermaid Man and Barnacle like Boy shit. Yeah, it is just so crazy. But they made up for it. You know, they started again. They met each other at a bar, and the bartender kind of helped them to get their relationship back on track. And they just pretended like that, uh, you know, negative restart never happened. Yeah, it's kind of cool seeing the dynamic between Rudy and Paul because technically Rudy is older than Paul, or at least he was in his former life. So there's a lot of things that he can teach Paul based on how he experienced things and you know he was like man i've already just acted like an asshole or lashed out at somebody else even though they were kind of in the wrong i'm not gonna do that anymore i'm just gonna let bygones be bygones and we're gonna move on and try to forget this thing and develop more as father and son so that was cool character development and kudos to rudy for showing more growth as a character especially in this new life but anyways guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into this next episode to see where these guys are at because the last time i think uh, paul parted ways with his little harem team you know the chick that was all nude in the bikini and stuff he got some side pieces so we're gonna see what rudy mm -hmm. doing we know uh paul got some pieces he do uh, Bitch-ass horse. Is this the same horse? Look like it. <laughs> so you're kind of throwing slugs at her ass. Look at this. It's like, oh, you used to be so desperate for attention. Niggas didn't want to look at your boobs because you ain't got none. You ain't got no ass. Tell them how you done grown up, girl. <laughs> the fuck wrong with her? Why oh, she getting excited? That was weird. She started having a damn conniption. <laughs> 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 
しかしてあの頃以来ずっと帰ってねえのかどうせ私が帰ったとしても誰も喜ばないでしょうし、はあ、お前な全然でっかいやっぱ全然変わってねえわあの頃からそうやってずっと逃げてばっかりであなたのようなガサツでお金のことしか頭にない人に言われたくありませんうん<笑>That was a long ass conversation. Right, okay, she is back now. Shock Zone. I remember that show.、Oh, you remember Shock Zone? But you don't remember Rudis? Rudis to Buddhist? Or Rudy to Booty? Was that a show? That was the name of the character from the show. No idea what anybody's name is. Yeah, that's、was. why I used to always. I would reference that show anytime Rudis' name would come up. No idea. But I didn't remember the show. Rudy's got the chalk. The chalk's on. Okay. Damn. Paparazzi up in this bitch. I don't want that. I'm gonna have scalp itch. Shit. Children, get away from her. What is going on with her? Is she on her period or something? Why does she keep seeing these flashes? Every time somebody got a problem, don't be near any damn period.、Mm. She's gonna run across mom and pop. I don't know if she's gonna say that. Been a long time. Should have left you. <laughs> They do look kind of boring over there, though. It's like the world is so much more entertaining than this village. I don't think she k e e p hearing somebody shooting dice. Damn. Don't, but I kind of want to know what happened. Yeah, something traumatic happened to her. You can tell. Lexi, <laughs> 20 years, god damn. She'll be in her 60s by then. Damn, 
they got the patience of a turtle. Sheesh. No wonder their house is made out of turtle shells. <laughs> I mean, what did you think was going to happen? You stopped by for two seconds. Seriously. And turn around and leave. Let me guess. That was her stuff. Yeah, I guess so. That little Pooh Bear toys. Christina Robinson. Oh. Why do they keep showing that effect? What does that mean? There's gotta be more to this shit. Telepathically, okay, so they were gossiping about her or something, or she could sense that? She said she couldn't speak telepathically. Right, that's what I mean, but that's what those clicks were. I guess. Coming from them, but she couldn't understand what the clicks were. That's probably also why it seems so boring there. They don't have to talk out loud. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's still scarred from it. Episode. This has been. I didn't know it was a slow going. one, but it's been a very heartfelt one. It's like listening to a bowl of Rice Krispies mm -hmm. when you pour the milk on them. Her hair. Hello, <laughs> look like a bowl of poo. Like some beef stew or something. Beef poo. Mm -hmm. What it look like? Beef do. For my man's. Why don't you tell? Well, exactly. Let her know. You've seen him already. 
I don't think she saw, saw him. She saw them training though. She walked like she, she saw those two training. She didn't see Rudy. Yeah. And she passed right by him in the alley. She's gonna put two know. and two together now though. Hell, cause she saw them two together for sure. Ooh, jeez. Why is she blushing like that? <laughs> My <laughs> sisters. I hope they weren't laughing the one I think they were laughing at. Oh yeah. We're just putting that weenie up in that beanie. Yeah, she getting your freak on with somebody as we speak. No! Icicle break! <laughs> Is she getting ran a train on again, though? Somebody tangling up them guts. Oh my god, warrior to the core. Journeys, man, that was a very deep and heartfelt episode pertaining to Roxy. We get a chance to see more into her mind and what she has to go through on a daily basis, and the dynamic that she faces with the humans as opposed to our own tribe of people. Apparently, her people have a way of speaking where they can do it telepathically as opposed to verbally, and she couldn't do that, which is why we kept seeing those weird little speckle sparkle yeah, shit. Probably why it's always so quiet in that damn village. Right, right. You know, and then you know, nobody if it's, needs to speak. Yeah, if it's that quiet, you know, nobody needs to speak, and she doesn't know how to do it, then she's gonna feel isolated. She's gonna feel like an outcast. Yeah. Yeah, so she did, and she ran away, and that's how she ended up where she ended up. But mm -hmm. she came back, and I think finally reconciled with her parents. Right. Which was good to see, so. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it, it is, you know, and just seeing how much she's grown as a character, because it seems like she was mm -hmm. very, very, I want to say insecure, but she seems questions like she was herself. Kinda, yeah, insecure. Right. And now she knows her limits. She knows she's grown. She knows what she can and can't do, and she's okay with it. So I can appreciate that growth. And now she knows Rudy is okay. She knows that super herds aren't all just trying to destroy everything. Mm hmm. It almost kind of makes me wonder, though, does she have feelings for Rudy like that, or is she just That's respecting That's what it seemed people? like they were hitting at, but I'm like, maybe they were just hitting that, you know, she just, I don't know. Yeah, they definitely seem to be hinting like they gonna try to get together or something because how the dad was in his feelings like, nigga, I forbid that shit. Ain't nobody finna be knocking your walls. You still young for a 40-something year old. We find out. Yeah, so we're gonna have to see what comes up with her next. You know, she is really developing as a character and I'm glad we got a chance to see more light on her story and stuff. So, if I were to give that a rating, it would probably be an A... Uh, I want to give it an A minus, but I'm leaning more towards an A plus. I was going to give it an A plus plus. Yeah, I, I'm giving it an A plus. I'm not no plus plus for this one, but yeah, it's worthy of it though. 
Yeah, for a slow episode too. It was a slow episode, but it, it, it turned out to be a good slow episode though. Right. I was getting a little frustrated with the little flits, like the flashy. Yeah, shit. when we didn't know what the hell it was, I was like, "Am I missing something? Am right. I crazy?" Like there is nothing more frustrating than just sitting there and watching motherfuckers you know talking about you, but you don't know what they're saying about you. <laughs> in a nail shop, being in a nail shop is the closest thing I can make that like correlation to when you know they ass is talking about you. You just don't know what the hell they're saying, and you can't confirm that they're talking about you, but you know. Yeah. But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and mosey our asses over to episode 19, so let's get it. Now, why does he look like a Smash player? Oh, really? Yeah, that is true. You know something big is going to happen anytime God shows up, though. I'll be playing now, guy. Yeah, I better stop playing, but guy. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is G. O to the D. Aish. Really? But not his own mother, though. Right. That's her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On that full bit of alchemy shit. Why are y'all doing her like this, man? <laughs> I thought it was about to be some music. Seriously. It's going down. <laughs> Man, this is feeling more and more like full bit of alchemist. <laughs> what if he realizes go? it's her? Huh? I wonder if he realizes that it's her. Yeah, he knows who that is. He can't say nothing though. He can't right, say who his real name is. Name. She is so adorable. Of course, her mom taught her. Regis. <laughs> Shadow Man Knight. Goddamn Shadow Moon Night Hell. She got his eyes. Oh, 
そういえばお母さんの知り合いの青い髪のお姉さんとかそうどこかにいるはずのお兄さんとか兄はいますけど頼りになりませんなんでやダイヤキャンさんのこと変えたとしてないか<笑>でもね、アンドラは。ジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジェアジ Saying big words and shit surreptitiously. <laughs> yeah, it might be wise for you not to reveal your identity. Hentai <laughs> this? That's right. The way his neck just animated. You should have knew your mom, like, she was gonna snitch on him, though, because she said. I wonder if mom snitched on herself, though. Right. You know that mom will instantly recognize that nigga. Uh oh. It is so. Well, they was ready.、Mm-hmm. Ready to pull up on some. That's what I like about them. They, they ain't finna play.、Mm-hmm. She got her hair on her hand now. <laughs> Who's that? Make sure you don't say his name. Did he let her know? Yeah, he told him to call him Kennel Master. Okay, yeah. Well, imagine having to walk up all them damn stairs. Seriously. I'd be on my last breath by the time I got to the top. Producing this beat right now. I don't know why I'm getting a negative vibe from this situation, but maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, it seems too convenient right now. You、mm-hmm. just gonna go and see Roxy without something happening? Did she already make it back here that quick? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
No, don't do it. Don't give the staff, you dumbass. Look how they acting. They know what's up. Oh my god, dude. you just so fucking pussy whip right now. You finna go to jail. You wanna jail now? A man's voice. That must be the prince. He wants he was to watching. teach him. Yeah. A perverted prince that was always all over Ro uh, Roxy. Cause I know you got them damn figures. <laughs> wow. I don't tell what kind of perverted shit he's been doing to her. Not in the rain car pit. You fell for that shit hook, run and sinker too. Damn. I'm about oh, to say he shit. probably can't use his magic on that. Yeah, this is like the same thing that that damn mystical dog was in, if I'm not mistaken, when they had them girls in their prison cell. Yeah, it's a force field. He's inside it this time, not outside of it. Mm -hmm. He don't care nothing about that. Right, she gone, bro. That's what I said. I don't think she made it back that quick. She hasn't. A lover. <laughs> Cut hold of <laughs> Nigga, don't nobody want to have sex with you. Seriously. Period. Now your funky ass kids. With that funky ass bowl cut on your head. I'm a raper. Why they got that King from Tekken music playing? And the idiot servants are just going along with this dumbass plan. They're cowards. God, this nigga is insufferable. This nigga is just stupid. Yeah, like, come on, guy. What my grip? What my gift at, man? Because in but guys, that was episode 19, Route Selection. Wait, this prince is worse than the damn prince from Gantama. He really is, man. He is a pervert. And they both look similar. They both ugly as hell with the worst haircut on the planet. Right. I ain't gonna lie. The and prince kind of look like a young version of what he used to look like or something. Like what Rudy used to look like in his old body. Just fat, sloppy, like a damn smash player. The ones that look stanky. Look a goddamn mess. Yeah. 
I'm wondering how he's gonna get out of this situation because it seems like he um, followed all the instructions that I God, think he's man. gonna get out of it. Yeah, he's gonna I do just, something. Yeah, that was ew. But no, that was a good one though. I, I like that episode. Um, it was a lot to go on. Versus the last episode was pretty slow. This mm. one moves pretty quick and escalated very, very quickly. Yeah, I love how the interaction with his other baby sister is different from the main mm-hmm. one. This sister seems to have a lot of independency and she's very smart. You know, her mom really just made sure she stayed on her P's and right. Q's. Because, you know, she's got to be tough out there in the world, you know. and Because, shit, if all those fails the gray rats, they could just drop them at any moment. And they would have no other chance but to survive. So, she has to be cunning. Unfortunately, unfortunately, like, um, she knows all about the panty incident with Roxy and stuff like that. So, that's interesting. I'm wondering if they're going to discover who he is now. I'm pretty sure that uh, May knows who he is. Like, especially if she saw him, she's going to know instantly who mm-hmm. he is, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, I would give this episode an A+. It was a very enjoyable episode. Yeah, I give it an A+. Yeah. yeah. It was a good one. It was very good. But there you have it, guys. Two A pluses. Rudy just reuniting with everybody, man. We we're like the only one we haven't seen him reunite with is Zenith, which is gonna be interesting. Reunited and it feels so good. I feel like that's gonna be the most important one. Yeah, we're gonna see Zenith in her natural element because she was already said to be a badass mage. So I can't wait to see what she's gonna do once he comes across her. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for us today. If there's anything that we missed out on, like let us know in the comment section below. Any questions that we asked, which I can't remember what questions I asked. I was just enjoying the episodes and shit. Right. But yeah, my name is RVG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos. And this is We Ain't See the Reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Mushiku Tensei, Jobs Reincarnation. Peace.